anyway yeah everybody yeah we've moved from uh, um scars brickworks because there was loads of uh lads came in uh about 20 year olds and uh, they started uh building a fire inside the uh, stars brickworks and they've uh, been very rowdy and uh Anyway, uh, we couldn't really do much else. So we've come up to uh, Loxley Chapel here. So we've not been here for a couple of years. Uh, uh, and uh, I thought, oh, well, let's uh, go up there. Uh, and uh, what I call it, uh, uh, see if we can catch any uh, activity here. But uh, I'm just thinking now, there was a grave here of uh, a man and woman that was buried side by side to each other and uh, uh, what I call it uh, uh, using one of the spirit boxes uh, at that particular time I'm not sure if it was spiritus that uh, uh, was using and uh, uh, we got we got their names called out so but I can't figure out where where there was i'm not sure if they've been moved because some of these gravestones have been moved from here if you can see here uh the the gravestones have disappeared now then was it these new ones here uh i'm sure it was a, a couple that was married was it these here no don't think so. Ronald Beach, Alston, Ernest Alston. I'm sure it was one of the uh, somewhere around here. Mabel. Now then, Mabel. 1996. That's the new one. That was the looks of things. Uh, let me check here. I don't think it was all this uh, this far down. I'm sure it wasn't. Uh, that uh, when I was when I was filming, I'm sure it wasn't this this far down. Excuse me, uh, whoever you are, Kenneth K. Uh, six. So no, I don't think it was any of them. It can't be. I'm sure it was the same name. The other same same. Surname, Darwin Swift, Jeffrey Kitchen. No, wasn't that. Oh, yes, this is it. Me, uh, Donald Greenfield, this is it now, I remember. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, I think they're both here. Uh, so it was, uh, you can see the uh, the video. He was a musician. Uh, uh, that's it. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh oh gosh I, I did i'm sure i looked up his information about him on uh on google uh so uh yeah so we got uh, in loving memory of donald greenfield died 25th of august 1990 age 68 years old beloved husband of margaret uh god be with you uh, uh, till we meet again. Also, his wife, Margaret Nee uh, Goodison, died uh, 5th of February uh, 2014, age 86 years old. Charity never f failed. I, I, I'm, I'm sure because this is the the, the actual people, what they, uh, who they were, and uh, as you can see there. So he was like a pianist con conductor sort of thing, and uh, that was his uh, that was his wife there. So uh, there you go. But I wondered why they had a different name. I never really uh, what to call it. Uh, uh, looked into that, but I'm sure I looked into this guy. Uh, um, and I'm sure that I found some on Google. I'm gonna to have to go back to that and see if I can I can find anything about him. Uh, so uh, very, 
nice uh, uh, gravestone here. Absolutely uh, very nice. So there you go. It looks like uh, they probably always uh, think there's another one here in memory of John John David Greenfield. 2018 beloved father, brother, uncle, grandfather, and friend from Renard Hearts. Uh, I don't remember seeing that here, so he must have. There must be three people that uh, are buried uh, in this uh, uh, in this plot here. So yeah, so I do remember that one when I when I came last time. So. I'm going to get some ghost hunting equipment here shortly. I'm going to uh, see if uh, I can pick up anything uh, from here. But, uh, yeah, the last time we came here, the grass was uh, all uh, pretty long. There is a bench up there now where John and Diana are, uh, <coughs> are sat. And, uh, oh, yes, uh, I remember because I, I didn't want to call it... Uh, I'm sure it was Spiritus session I did uh, when when we uh, when we came here uh, or, or something like that. It was one of them, or uh, it could have been SB7 I did. So yeah, the one I'm thinking about. <laughs> With the couple, married couple, I think that was up a private now. Thinking about it, uh, it's St Leonard's Church uh, that we've uh, that we've done up there. So if you look at the last time we was here at Luxley Chapel, you'll find that uh, that video uh, of of that couple. So this graveyard now is uh, looked after by the friends of Loxley uh, uh, here. Let me yeah, go to, there's a, there's a board here. That board wasn't here the last time we came here. Uh, oh dear, it's a Mario uh, over there. Poor John was struggling to get in and out because he's tall. So, uh, friends of Loxley Cemetery, uh, uh, that uh, oh, look, looks like they're keeping uh, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I never knew that. Diane, there's two uh, people buried in here from the Sheffield flood. Yeah. Oh no, twenty-two. 22 victims of the uh, Sheffield Flood were buried in this cemetery. You can scan something on there as well. Uh, I think it might give you, uh, uh, what do you call it, details about them. So, uh, there you go. So, I never knew that. Please take care when visiting the, uh, the cemetery. Pathways and other areas may be uneven, covered with trees, twigs, brambles, and other vegetation which could cause slips, trips, falls, or other hazards such as cuts, irritation, etc. Gristles may be loose and extremely uh, heavy. You might not be able to see that because of the light there. Uh, volunteers working independently to clear vegetation are, are doing so as an act of kindness to those who loved ones are buried here and cannot be held responsible for any harm damage to people or their property which is true I understand that uh, I mean we're walking around here in in the dark uh, we just uh, uh, my phone here is, uh, is doing the recording and uh, a small light here that uh, I'm using so if I fall it's it's my my fault, not not the cemetery's fault. So I never knew that, that there's 22 people buried here 
from the uh, from the Sheffield flood. Now, as, as you know, we've, we know about that uh, Ward's End Cemetery uh, is supposed to have uh, uh, people that uh, that died in the uh, uh, in the Hillsborough flood, Sheffield flood, whatever you want to call it, and uh, also General Cemetery as well. Is supposed to have had uh, uh, people buried in there from the uh, from the Sheffield flood uh, because they had to use it as a, like an overspill sort of thing uh, when uh, all the people that uh, that passed away. Do you remember when we last came here? And, and uh, my my screen's gone a bit funny. Why is that gone funny? There you go. And uh, we're talking about and I remember about a gravestone. And there was a married couple there. One was a pianist. Conductor, I just found his grave again. So I'm just gonna have a walk up here. So uh, there you go. Uh, we've uh, it must be about five or six years ago uh, when I first came here. I uh, went into uh, Loxley Chapel itself. Uh, it's derelict now. Uh, I came in. Came in with uh, when I first came in with uh, uh, Tim Matthews, who used to be in our group, and uh, Pete Hemshaw. Uh, and uh, was that it? Or was the yeah? I think that was it. Uh, so uh, we uh, we went into uh, Locksley Chapel, but I've been told now that uh, uh, they've cleared it all up down there, and. Uh, and I think they're trying to do work to it now to uh, uh, to bring it back. Uh, I was going to say back to life, but uh, you know what I mean. So, but uh, yeah, it looks like that uh, they're trying to uh, keep the cemetery. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, down. I wonder why my camera's going funny. It's not done that all night. But... See, so it's cold up here. It does feel like winter again. Come on, why is my camera going funny? Is anybody, uh... there you go. So you see all the uh, different gravestones here. This has been cleaned as well because this was all, I'm sure this was all, last time we came here was uh, all wooded area. So it looks like they've uh, done with uh, clearing the trees and that. <laughs> Good evening, good morning everybody. I've been here before. Wow, look at these, uh, these uh, greystones have all like collapsed in. My name's Martin. Look at these. I've come here as a friend. I've come here to prove that life goes on after death. Oh wow, look at this one, how oh, that's uh, all collapsed in there. The ground has just subsided uh, over the years and uh, some of these don't look like they've been here all that long. Uh, we're looking at them. There's this one, 1955. Okay, so it's been here. Uh, nearly uh, 70 years, uh, 70 odd years ago, something like that. But uh, yeah, look at the uh, the gravestones here, how they've uh, started to subside and break up uh, with the uh, change of the uh, of the land. Wow, look at this one, the tree is uh, grown through this one. Wow. 
It's amazing what you see when it's all uh, all being cleared. Oh, what's that then? There's a noise. Could be animals, not sure. Okay, another one here with the trees just growing through through the what they call it. Reverend Andrew, so the vicar's buried here. What's this one here? Brown one over there, I can't see it. I'm not going to uh, take the risk. But uh, yeah, if you go down here, takes you uh, down to uh, the uh, Luxley Chapel so I'm not gonna go down there wow look at this one I've not seen this one before in loving memory William Ken's uh, Kenyon died 13th of May 1937 age 86 years old so that was a good year a uh, good year a good year sorry uh, <laughs> Well, a good year that uh, they lived up to 86, especially living through the Victorian days as well. Uh, also, uh, Anne Kenyon died 31st of January 1942, age 88 years old. Oliver Kenyon, son of the above, died in Basra, 6th of October. 1918, aged 21 years old. Okay, so uh, it's like there's a plot here for the uh, for the for the family there, the mother and probably uh, son. Uh, and uh, there you go. Wow. Like I said, I'm not going too far down. You uh, be surprised if you probably probably looked up some names about some of these people. Uh, you'll find that uh, there, in some people there's probably some some. Oh shit! So oh, mighty that that shit me up actually. <laughs> oh god, oh mighty. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry for swearing. <laughs> oh dear me. That did, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 scare me look a bit then with the, uh, what do you call it, so yeah, you would walk down here and get down to uh, uh, Loxley Chapel down there, but it's, uh, it is a little bit, uh, what do you call it, with getting down there. Harriet, 1925, 1929, 75 years old. So when you look at uh, people who's, uh, that will pass, uh, pass away. Around about in the 70s, most people are in the uh, in the 70s uh, that uh, when they pass away, gosh, I ain't got uh, far to go, 20 years. I may not be here in 20 years time. Uh, it'd be nice if I am, uh, but uh, I'll be 75 then in, uh, in 20 years. So I do hope I make it up to that uh, age and uh, uh, and still pretty, uh, pretty fit. <laughs> I just heard another noise behind me then. Not sure what it was. It wasn't the bird. Let me, uh, let me tell you, my camera's gone a bit funny again. Let me uh, try and focus in. There you go. So two gravestones here, the same one if they could have been relatives at uh, one stage. It's 
spooky. Why does my camera go in front of you then? go it's a big one there at the back I wonder what that is let me look at that one that uh, might be something uh, important in memory of who I Mary Ann What's that? CFS. Is it? Not too sure. Dear love, uh, dear, dearly, what's that? Loved wife of Herbert Higgins, who fell asleep February 23rd, 1931, age 54 years old. Xavier and I are curious, keeping our uh, above named Herbert. Uh, Higgins, who died in 1932. So he died a year later, age 64 years. Also, Emily Higgins, who 1962, age 87. Another tree going through there. Through the grave. Oh, this one looks. Uh, like it's been looked after. There you go. Let me get back on the uh, on the path here. Because if anything does come after me, I can run up the path then. I'll run past Diane and John and jump in the car and drive off. <laughs> Okay. Okay, what's happened here? These letters that uh, are just... Yeah, these are letters. Oh, that's not good. Let me stick that back there. Uh, because that letter... That letter there was... Where's the letter? Yeah, that's it. The letter T. Let me stick that back there. Sister. It's coming off. And I just heard a... Not sure if you just heard that, but I just heard that on my left hand side. So we got here in memory, in loving memory of our dear parents, Eliza and Greaves, passed away October 13th, 1932, aged 68 years. Henry Greaves passed away January 10th, 1947, age 88, eight years old. Bernard Greaves, dearly beloved husband of Beatrice, and on of the above, passed away April 1956, age 67 years old. Beatrice Greaves, beloved wife of Bernard, passed away 1974, age, six, age 83. So I'm not sure if there's, there's letters missing here. Oh, no, I am. Uh, so, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I've stuck that uh, letter back there, letter T. It is gluing down. Shame I've got no glue on me. I would have uh, uh, glued it down for him. Uh, some uh, Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Something. It's uh, yeah, I did it like a nose, it's sat on this side of me. But uh, yeah, last time I come, most of these trees were stoppage when you were going down here, so you didn't see all the uh, all the gravestones. Oh. <laughs> 
Edith Gold and uh, passed away suddenly. 1947. That's like a family plot, another family plot here. Can't really read uh, the uh, white sides on there. But uh, it's nice to know that some people care and uh, they're doing their best. What's this here? Oh, it's the number. 63 to 137. Okay, that was interesting. I thought that uh, was like a that's like a bit of a fountain sort of thing. Oops. There you go. Uh, so anything happening? Yeah, we've got one Okay. We've been talking about, you know you just mentioned about the flood. Sheffield Lodge, yeah. So me and John, we've just been talking about the flood in 2007 yep when um well john me and john obviously got stranded uh in where we i was coming home in uh from spain in 2007 when we had that flood yeah well i i, I worked up at faircroft and i lived in park Bay, and it's two bus rides why is it gone blurry and, again and we we went uh and john you were at other ends so we all be what you were you were already like, Yeah, you were at your end, I were at my, trying to get home, and then, because where I live, there's lots of little bridges and canals and yeah. all round, you know, because I was in Parkgate, yeah. and we were literally cut off everywhere. And um, on the radio, it says if you're, if you're struggling and you've got a problem, make your way to Heaven Shop. All right, I'm, uh, I'm not near yeah. that. Now, let me just try that again because I did do a little bit of a FUD when I walked back. Oh, well, that's been going off and we sat here. Yeah, but let me... Oh. Right, uh, now, right, did I set that up? I should yeah. have set that one off as well when I was jumping up and down. Yeah. Yeah, but you weren't jumping up and down when it went off earlier. No, no and, and I've noticed, I've had me phone going in and out of focus. So, they usually say when your phone goes in and out of focus that... Uh, you mentioned it here, you said thing on there. Right, let me jump up and down. So that's not going off now. Now I'm jumping up and down and jumping and down in the same spot. Yeah. Yep. And we just had, we just, we knew what were happening because it was raining and, and everywhere got uh, flooded and we saw it, you know, we knew what were coming. Yeah. Uh, and while we were doing it, the, that rain pods were going off. Yeah. Maybe, uh, we why the, you're talking about the flood, maybe the people that might be here, the 20, there's 22 graves yeah, here. Yeah, of uh, people yeah. that died in the Sheffield flood, yeah. maybe they're letting you know what we know yeah. about the floods because we was in the the Yieldsborough flood. Yeah, that's what we were thinking because obviously we were saying we we knew what were happening because it was raining and, yeah. and the rivers and everything, canals were getting full and everywhere just burst the banks and that. So we, we knew it would come in. Yeah. Uh, and these people, well, we don't think they, they did. They were just. Uh, do we know what caused it? Did it just... Yeah, the, for the flask... Uh, did it just... The, well, one of the dams bust, didn't it? Uh, it, it, I, yeah. it? Does anybody know why 
I think it was just badly, um, uh, badly made. They had like no warning. Yeah. I can't remember. To call the all the you know canals and all. Every time I go into them, they're, they're kind of, the camera camera's going funny. Uh, can you step away from them to a minute? There's somebody stood there where John and uh, Diane is because every time I put my camera on them, you just seem to uh, send my camera out of focus. Well, something odd happened a little while ago. There I you go, was... let me just try and change the uh, what, home I and all that. I was talking to John. Yeah. Um, just where John's bag is here. I saw a face there. Yeah. For a split yeah, it was John's. No, there, not there, John's there. There was a face there. Right. And it would have and then gone. But that, we we obviously, we were in this discussion about the, yeah. what happened and everything. And we were just saying, like, you know, we, we really do, you know, feel sorry for people and sympathise with them. Well, like, like John said, we don't know what you went through. Yeah. Awful. And um, we were just saying, my son. We were, we were petrified. Yeah. Do you? Uh, 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 helicopters were going about and all. Yeah. Did, was you in the uh, Sheffield flood? Is that what you was trying to let Diane and John know that you was, uh, you know about the Sheffield flood because you was there? Can you touch these devices on the ground again for us? Can you let us know? That was an insight, I think, to everybody that just appeared in front of the screen. Uh, can you touch these coloured lights, the blue one and the green one? And there's one on that gravestone as well. What was what lights up red? Do you was you in the Sheffield flood? Was your life taken because of the flood? <coughs> I don't know why I keep on getting this green dot on, on me uh, on my screen. It's quite annoying, uh, actually. Can you can you uh, make these uh, green light and blue light flash and make a noise? If you do, we can we'll we'll know that you're here and you want to speak to us. Oh, there's a flashy ball as well. <clears throat> so maybe if you go off and touch that, sorry everybody, I'm yawning. It's your bedtime. I know. I should be in bed now, tucked up. Fast asleep. We're going to uh, pack up soon. Yeah. Get off home if you want. It's getting late, isn't it? It's cold tonight. It, today it's it feels a, like I winter. It's uh, it's uh, ten past two. I didn't know if it blinking night with that time. I knew it was uh, latish. 
Gosh, we best get off home. Oh, we must have had fun then. That's the only thing I can think of. Ah, so there you go. Anyway, everybody, we, we're going to go off. I'm not going to go down to uh, that gravestone down there to where the uh, uh, conductor is and uh, his wife. I'm, uh, it's getting late, 10 past 2. Uh, so we're going to head off home. Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, for watching. Uh, if you do have an interest in the paranormal, uh, like I said, we meet up every Thursday evening, six o'clock, well, ten o'clock at the uh, Free Cranes Pub uh, in Rotherham. So uh, uh, please come down and uh, uh, and uh, come and see us. Uh, we'd uh, well, we'd like to see you. Uh, even if it's just one coming for uh, for the night, uh, and uh, and visiting us, uh, we do a ch uh, we do a, uh, have a charge of three pound fifty entry fee uh, that helps with the club, helps to uh, uh, pay for uh, uh, towards events, and uh, also helps with his insurance, and uh, also buying uh, ghost hunting equipment as well. So come down and visit us. Uh, and uh, maybe if you like us, that you m might want to come out ghost hunting with us uh, every week. That'll be uh, quite interesting. So uh, there you go. All right, take care, everybody. And uh, we'll uh, catch you very soon again. Bye-bye for now. Uh, do you want to say goodbye, Dan? Bye, Dan. Yep. Uh, do you want to say bye, John? Goodbye. <laughs> and bye bye Martin. <laughs> yep, yeah, so uh, uh, catch you later, everybody. Bye for now. From uh, South Yorkshire Gold Students at uh, Loxley and uh, at Loxley Chapel. Bye bye.